MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Toronto Blue Jays. Now at the plate, Andrelton Simmons. He will lead this one off today. The 2 1. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one away. Stepping up to the plate, David Fletcher, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four hit contest yesterday afternoon. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. All even now, two and two. Anderson has logged upwards of 900 innings on the mound so far, and in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. Translation, he's better than league average in that category. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number that two. Third. The third base, number six, Anthony Rangel. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. At the plate now, Lourdes Guriel skied into very shallow right. Goodwin is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. And it's been a series to hang his hat on with four hits and seven RBIs. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Now this is hit high and deep out to left. And that is off the wall. in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The designated hitter. Into the box now. Bo Bichette. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Batting fifth. The right field. Standing in now, Rendell Gritcher. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Digging in, Reese McGuire. And now the Blue Jays look to put some more across the plate in this opening frame down the first baseline and this goes right past him oh my that might play two and the run is in to score from second that makes it a four nothing ball game and now Billy McKinney oh, he took something off of it there it's one and two I know he's been struggling early but that pitch right there well executed changeup. if he can mix that in maybe he hangs around for a little while longer and he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Well, 
all set for the start of the inning and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Ball three. Ball three. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him he can steal a base on you but if you lay a fastball in there he can take you deep too. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. Here's Tommy LaStella now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. One and one. Here it is. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Justin Upton the next to hit his lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's gone three for 11. He's taken him deep once. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Got it, got it. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. A ball and two strikes. Trout leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Here's the 1 1. Soft grounder left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Now batting. At the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. The 2 1 home. Is taken ball three. I got three one. Three balls, one strike. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. A ball and two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey I got to really commend this pitcher right here was able to regroup in between innings something happened in a dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. This is well struck high and deep toward the left field corner and it's gone as they add still another. Stepping in now Lourdes Guriel. Two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And he misses again ball three. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher runner on first with two away and that misses two and one hey after the double in his first at bat looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. He's got to hurry. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jason Castro, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. 
And he lays off the circle change here as he moves into the driver's seat three and one. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Here now the 2 2. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. He's got it one away. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. Popped up. Tellers is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, David Fletcher. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out with the man at first. That misses, and we're even at two and two. A bouncer up the middle. And the Halos have their first hit of the game. How about it? Third baseman, Anthony. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And that misses two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Swing and a liner, but foul. Two men are on with two men out. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Hernandez has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. The right field, number 15, Grichet. To the plate now, Randall Gritcher. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Drives it out to deep right center field. Trout will back up and put this away for a long out number one. Stepping in for the Jays, Reese McGuire. He reached out a single in his first try. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. The center fielder, number Riding in once again, Billy. Billy McKinney. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Jaime Berea is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Jaime Berea. Into the box now, Kevin Biggio. Fouled away. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Oh, 
all set for the start of the fourth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Mike Trout. Takes this the other way to right. Richard is there and he'll bring this one in. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Tommy LaStella. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. And that's the second out. Digging in now, Justin Upton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Again, a one-two. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Rowdy Tellez. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball here. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. The batter number 13. So now to the plate, Lourdes Guriel hit back up the middle. Simmons throw on to Pujols. They get them both, and they end the inning. Stepping into the box, Brian Goodwin. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long. So it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Popped up. Therefore, it is Guerrero, and that's the first down. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. Comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. Chopper to short. Reined in. And there are two away now. Here's Albert now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1-1 one, one home. ball sent back up the middle the bat, number two. into the box Andrelton Simmons hit hard on the ground a second and that's through for a hit and the throw will come in quickly from center so despite the hit and run they won't get the extra base here second base at the plate now, David Fletcher. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. Yeah. 
Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Misses, ball two. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He singled his last time up. 1 1. He's taken for strike two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, the and there are two gone. 15. Now at the plate, Randall Gritcher. No hits to this point. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. Half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. 1-1. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up McKinney. And this one is gone. A home run. Stepping in now, Mike Trout. A swing and a ground ball to third. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Into the box now, Tommy Lastella. He was a ground out victim last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Grounded to third. He's got it. And there's out number two. Digging in, Justin Upton. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One run, four hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. What a play. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to hit is the catcher, Reese McGuire. A 1 1. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Line towards center field. Trout is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Billy McKinney. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Now here it comes. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The batter, number eight. Digging in once again, Kevin Biggio. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Liner toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Tanner Roark is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 14, 
So striding forward now, Brian Goodwin. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long now, ball to get them back into this one. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Brian Goodwin goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. And there's ball two now. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the, the inning. Baseman, number five. And with two Albert. gone now, they'll get to work Ooh. on Albert with the bases empty. The 1-1. One, one. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Now the 2 1. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Simmons is there, and he's retired one away. So one away now in the Toronto seventh, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. One one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The one two. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Hit in the air out to center field. Trout is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Mortis Guriel. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. Makes the play one away. Ready now for L.A. David Fletcher hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. 3 2 pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. Standing in, Anthony Rendon. He went deep last time up. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has popped to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Noah Ramirez enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. No way. So here's the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Chopper foul. Out.
outside and a full count three and two. Bo Bichette is on deck. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first down. Next to bat for Toronto. Bo Bichette. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Weak grounder back to the mound. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Here's Randall Bridget, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One and two now. Two out, nobody on. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Mike Trout. 1 1. Left side of the infield into the shift. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. At the plate, Tommy Lastella. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Do next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on deck circle. 3 and 2. The count is full to the Angels' DH. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's Justin Upton now. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes on one and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. At the plate, Brian Goodwin. He went down on strikes last time up. Brian Goodwin. And this pitch misses. It's two and one now to the Angel right fielder. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Can't waste getting a leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Full count now. Angels down to their last strike. Shot towards second. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow, a nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. Seven to one the final today. The Toronto Blue Jays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chase Anderson earns win number seven on the season. Griffin Canning allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. Tanner Roark takes the rare three inning save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more make your way over to theshownation.com Fans are final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Angels, one run, five hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.